see it if you'd like. And we're going to be singing all kinds of things tonight. All kinds of, uh, what do you call it? Maybe a little classical, maybe a little country, maybe a little, I don't know, whatever. So anyway, maybe a no, no jazz. But to make it all clear, give me one few little words. We're going to be singing God bless you. Yes, yes. That's what we're going to do tonight. Yes. We'd like you to bless us. Bless yourself and sing along with us, please. Because we oh, there he is. You gotta to sing tonight. Yes. Oh, all right then. Okay. Oops. <coughs> He's already done.
head and had some bleeding in her brain. And she's been in the hospital all week and still there. And uh, they may discharge her to, to go to uh, rehab. And we appreciate your prayers. Keep her in mind, if you would. And also, uh, Pastor, retired pastor, Brother Hugh Middleton, is having surgery Monday for the cancer on the side of his face, which we appreciate you keeping him in prayer also. And Mary says after closing tonight, we're going to have prayer here for those and others that we might want to be prayed for. So keep that in mind. Join us as we sing a great old song, page 472, The Old Account Was Said, Long Ago. Beautiful song. Join with us. There was a time on earth, way in the book of heaven, an old account was standing, for sins yet unforgiven, my name was at the top. I went up to the keeper and said, Long ago, long ago, long ago, long ago, as the old account was set up long ago, and the records clear today, for he washed my sins away when the old account was set up long ago.
and you take you up around town and you go fly you and, and you enjoy a helicopter ride. And uh, Dick really wanted to do this. But uh, Shirley said, well, that's too much. Fifty dollars is fifty dollars. And so they didn't, they didn't take go up in the helicopter. So the Aaron next year the they went back up again. These hymns. And Dick said, oh, I sure would like to ride in that helicopter. Okay, he's working on it. Okay. And because um, I'm getting, we're doing, getting older, I will pilot you know, thee. And I don't have much time left. I want, I want to ride in a helicopter. And but Shirley said, fifty dollars is fifty dollars. And the pilot overheard and said, well, since you folks are elderly, and uh, I heard you talking, I'd like to give you a free ride. But only one condition: don't say anything when we're flying. Don't say one word, or if you do. I will have to uh, charge $50. So they agreed, and up they went, flying around Phoenix and doing all kinds of maneuvers and, and going sideways and up and down. And it, it, uh, the kids would love it, but old folks might get sick. Anyway, finally they landed, and the pilot said to Dick, I'm really impressed. You all didn't say a word. And Dick said, well, I almost did when she fell out, but, <laughs> but $50 is $50. Amen. Okay, well, but you're glad that's just a joke. <laughs> now, this is his second wife with him tonight. Uh, you don't have songbooks tonight, do you? Okay, well, the next song is Where He Leads on Follow, and I'm sure you know it, so sing along with us. I, I'm going to have to apologize. I thought we were going to have words, so we didn't pass out books. So you're just either going to have to sing with them if you know them, or just listen to them, one of the two, and just praise the Lord while they sing. And I'm so sorry about that. Promises, kind is the word, dearer far than any message man ever heard. Pure was the mind of Christ, sinless I see. He, the great example, is a pattern for me. Where he leads our follow, follow. We 
Ever since I was at one of our MCs, um, I've missed a couple of them lately, but last month, um, a lot of you know my little sister, fondly known as Tinker, <laughs> her name is Dolores, but um, she lost her husband about two months ago, and so I've been in Wisconsin with her, and Then this last week, my best friend, Claudine, <coughs> had a spill. <clears throat> and you know, I think, I know that God is still with me. And I, I have been singing this song that I'm going to sing tonight. I've been singing it for years. But it seems to have a very special meaning to me right now in, in what I've been going through. And, it's called learning to lean. I'm learning more and more to lean on Jesus. And so I trust that this will bless your hearts too.
Pray. Pray. Say prayer. Prayer is patient. Prayer. Prayer is patient. Prayer. Prayer is patient. If you know just how to pray. Say prayer is self-control. Prayer is self-control. Prayer is self-control. If you know just how to pray. I say if you know just how to pray. I say if you know just how to pray. Pray. Woo. Jesus hold my hand and uh, we, we think we're going to do this in peace. <coughs> Sister Mary, let's see. Guitar players and piano players sometimes have different ideas about what's good keys. And <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Brother, I know Brother Gene thinks that way too. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sing this old hymn, and uh, we want you to join with us. Uh, do we have words to it by any chance? Oh yeah, there it is. So I don't want anybody sitting out there like a bump on a pickle. I want you to sing with me. This is a great song. Amen. As we travel through this land, there is a friend. Aren't you glad for a friend who goes with us? Let's sing it as unto the Lord and, and worship as we as we go. As I travel through this field, there is a friend who walks with me.
what? Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that amazing? We're making the piano player happy. Yes, indeed, miracles do happen. <laughs>
I've been beating around a couple of songs that I wanted to play, and I thought I was going to play the one I gave Mary. And for some reason, this week it just wasn't going to be good. And I kept hearing this noise. And the noise was me. <laughs> then I heard this voice. And it said, I don't want you to play that because you're going out there and everybody else is giving me glory with their songs, with their, with their words. And the voice was a kind of quiet voice. But there was no mistake in what he was saying. With my voice, they can't hear me. All right, well, we got that covered. Yes, very well. How about now? You good now? Yes. So anyway, the voice was a small, still voice. Now, you know the one I'm talking about. Now, you may have heard it once or twice. And he said, in my kingdom, I don't have any problems. But you all have a message. But those folks that you're going to be with tonight, they've got hope. And they've got faith. They've got what is on the other side in my kingdom is real. Exactly right, brother. Exactly right. So he said, I don't want you to do that on your business. I got Gloria all over the place. So I said, Lord, how about? Just make it a little bit quiet. It's okay.
way. And it's it's sometimes kind of hard. But the Lord makes it so it's better. And my father and mother are with him. And I'm going to be there. Yes. trying to get everybody to say something and nobody wants to. So here I am. Okay. We're going to ask you to stand. We've been sitting quite a while and we've got a little while longer to go. So how about standing up and singing this little fun song with us, okay? The girls are going to lead it and we want you to echo with it, okay? And before I go on, I have to tell you how much I enjoyed that whispering hope. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Whispering hope.
Yes, Jill is. I'm still thinking about the sugar lace. It's okay, People have beautiful Chevrolet lace. Anyway, I was 16 when I first heard this song. And my dad always had a Ford, so it was okay. And Mercury. There was a young lady that sang this. She was in a singing group. Actually, Brother Bill was. There was another young lady who used to sing the same singing group there. They were the Sunshine Cordettes, Southside Assembly of God. It always inspired me, Nadine and Marianne Holt at that time. We've heard a lot of sad things tonight, haven't we? So, brothers and sisters, we're in trouble. One too long ago, I was in trouble. You were praying for me. Look what the Lord hath done. He healed my body, saved my soul, touched my mind, whatever all that song says He did. He did all that. But now I'm feeling my fun. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I woke up this morning feeling fine And I woke up with heaven on my mind I woke up with joy in my soul For I knew my Lord had control And I knew I was walking in the light For I've been on my knees in the night and I prayed him the Lord gave me a sign And now I'm feeling mighty fine Well, I'm feeling mighty fine I've got heaven on my mind Don't you know, don't you know I want to go
just before we sang it. They shall lift up their voice, they shall sing for joy. They shall cry aloud and be free. They shall glorify the name of the Lord. It's the blood of the church, the redeemed. And we are in that army of the Lord. We've been washed in blood. And we are going forth. There is nothing that can help this mighty moving force with a shout of praise. A two-edged sword, every stronghold of bondage must fall beneath our feet. Every prisoner held captive must be free. There's a new song being sung and a new melody. It's the blood bought, the church, the redeemed. Oh, pick up your heart, O Zion of the Lord. Let the earth ring forth with his praise. All his children rejoice from the islands of the sea. It's the blood bought, the church, the redeemed. And we are in that army of the Lord. We've been washed in the blood. We are going forth. There is nothing that can stop this mighty moving force with a shout of praise, a two-edged sword, and every stronghold of bondage must fall beneath our feet. Every prisoner held captive must be free. The deliverance has come through the power of the sun. It's the blood of the church, the redeemed. Let the earth be silent. There's going to come a time when the music of this earth won't be heard because it'll cease. Because there's going to be a new song and a new melody. music like we've never heard before. And you know, the saints that have gone on before us are going to be, I believe my husband's going to be singing. You know, he had a paralyzed vocal cord that didn't stop him from keep preaching, but it stopped him from singing for the last few years of his ministry. But in heaven, I believe he's going to sing again. Praise the Lord. Let the earth be silent, O wind cease to blow. Every created being can fold their wings. There's a new song being sung with a new melody. It's the blood bought, the church, the redeemed. Oh, hallelujah! We are in that army of the Lord, and we've been washed in the blood, and we are going forth. There's nothing that can stop this mighty moving force with a shout of praise, a two-edged sword, every stronghold of bondage fall beneath our feet and every prisoner held captive will be free for our deliverance has come through the power of the sun oh it's the blood of the church the redeemed and we are in that army of the lord and we've been washed in the blood and we are going forth. There is nothing that can stop this mighty moving force with a shout of praise, a two-edged sword, and every stronghold of bondage must fall beneath our feet, and every prisoner held captive must be free. For our deliverance has come through the 
the power of the sun, and it's the blood bought, the church, the redeemed. It's the blood bought, the church, the redeemed. Aren't you glad to be a part of it tonight? Oh, yes. I can imagine, I can picture it. Lord, we come tonight, I think these seats would all just be empty, don't you think? And we'd just be going on up. Oh, praise the Lord. The blood-bought church is going to go up that day. Thank you. 
dancing stream that frees us. There's still power in the blood. Power in the blood. There's still power in the blood of the Lamb. It's hard being Claudine. I gotta say. Boy, it's hard to follow all this good praise and worship. I tell you, it's got to the point where I've got more people over on the other side than I do here on earth. And I can hardly wait. And what I found out, me and my wife, we went on a trip to Oklahoma about a month ago. And we visited with a little lady, 95 years old. And we got to talking about heaven. And she about jumped out of that wheelchair. She was so excited. She said, I can hardly wait. You know, and, you know, I'm only 66, so I'm still kind of young. But uh, when I get that age, too, I'll, I'll be singing, Near my God to Thee. Because I want to go home. And if everything that I read in the Bible is true, He's built me a mansion. I can hardly wait. You know, I'm dealing with a mortgage company now, but I've got a house up there bought and paid for. So, anyway, that's what the Bible says.
by the way, I have to play a quick commercial. I've got a few CDs that I made for sale. My wife's done. If you'd like to purchase one, they're 10 bucks a piece. I normally sell them for 15, but for this crowd, it's 10 bucks a piece. It's all Southern gospel music. It's older songs, but it's great. I have, you know, I, I give a money back guarantee. If you don't like it, keep the CD and I'll give you your money back. <laughs>
I wouldn't do this for just anyone, but this is really worth it, okay? <laughs>
when you really need to trust God when you have nothing else to hang on to. And some people think that's a bad statement to make, but uh, this song came to me through my daughter. Uh, I guess it's been about four years ago. We were in at a singing in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and my phone rang. And usually I have my phone where, yeah, I mean, it didn't ring ring, but I knew it was ringing. So I got up went out to take the call, and it was my son uh, to tell me that he was just diagnosed with cancer. And I immediately called Trina, and she said, Mom, you've got to hear this song. She said, it's going to minister to you. You really need this song. So she brought the song back to me, and it just happens that my son-in-law is best friends with the group that sings this song. And I asked them, would they please give me the soundtrack? And they very uh, willingly and without charge gave it to me. So that was another header. Okay, the name of this song is Never had to trust you, Lord, like I'm going to trust you now. It's out of my hand. I've 
that lovely name is the name above all names. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you, Father, in the magnificence of the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, before you do the work, the results that are going to come forth because of the faith that is being released even at this point. We ask you right now to, to touch those that have been named and those that haven't been named because there hasn't been time to take all the requests and there are many here tonight. But there's enough of the glory of God and the grace of God to go around to satisfy every, every need present and those that are not. So we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will come down with your presence. Bless Claudine right now. May she feel your presence as she's lying there in that bed of affliction. A quick recuperation. Bless Brother Ray that's by her side. And a lot of pressure on him as well as those that are surrounding the situation. Brother Middleton, as he goes into surgery, may it be totally successful. Sister Kimsey, bless her tomorrow in the house of God. All of these precious ones that have express needs. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. We would just echo John, the last part of the New Testament says, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Come quickly. We anticipate your coming. We bless you. We thank you. Go with us as we go our separate ways until we meet again. And all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Like we say in our church, un aplauso para Cristo, which means let's give the Lord a good hand clap. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, the fiddle's back there. I forgot to say it. But there's something that day.